All right, hello, El Capitan. Welcome back to my channel, okay? This is a pop-up love reading for El Capitan, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right, so let's see what is popping up for you in love. Okay, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this could be a veteran, uh, definitely somebody who works security or somebody who was, a, who, who was in the military, okay? But I'm definitely getting an African-American. I'm getting several people are popping up for you. It could be several people from your past or several people who are just alike. I'm getting, I hear you, I hear you saying they're all the same, they're all alike, they're all like that. Yeah, so I'm getting like you're fed up with a certain group or you're fed up with dating a certain type of people, person. Because whoever's coming towards you, El Capitan, they're fed up with like with you, with your antics, or they're just fed up with love, they're fed up with dating, they're fed up with bullshit. Somebody is very fed up. Somebody is really somebody does not trust you off the bat, just period. All right, so maybe, you, maybe you've been taking somebody through the ring or they don't trust you, just period. All right. All right, what's what they do for work? So this person is this person has trust issues, but I'm getting it's for good reason. They have been hurt, taken advantage of, lied to, you know, just kind of shitted on. Okay, but they're, they're hanging in there. So if somebody seems kind of bitter or bitchy, this is why. I feel like... I feel like the, the person that's coming towards you, every person that they have dated, like the, 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 the past nine relationships have been shitty as hell. Or it's been like the same old shit with everybody. It's the same thing. So somebody is looking at you like, man, okay, yeah, you're all the same. You're all... So this could be like, maybe somebody's like, oh, all black people are the same. All Africans are the same. They're all the same. They all do the same shit. All men are the same. All men are dogs. All women are all women are whores. Something like that. So I feel like this is like somebody's mentality right now. They are really not doing well in love like they've really been through the ringer when it comes to love yeah i'm getting two when it comes to a certain group i'm getting africans the, the wands are my african cards okay what they do for work so if you are if you are a caucasian watching this or if you are an african watching this and you want to date you're dating a caucasian they didn't i don't know some shit is going on but they have a complex or something what they do for work yeah the nine of cups okay so they they could be a musician but I'm getting whatever they do for work, This is a, it requires a creative flair or they are musically inclined. The cups, okay. Why are they coming towards you, the hangman, because they got left hanging, okay. They're also coming towards you because they have realized something. They have realized that maybe they like you or I feel like somebody's coming towards you to apologize, El Capitana, this is you. You know, this person's coming towards you and they're, they're kind of beat up and you're, you're wanting to apologize for your part or for the... The trauma that you have may have caused in their life. Yeah, the two of swords. Wow. Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting you did something to this person. You made a decision to do something reckless or hurtful or scandalous to somebody. I feel like you're going to apologize. I'm getting you've done this more than once. Like you've done the same thing to many people more than one time. Yeah, so I'm getting like I'm getting this person is a major problem, or you are, you are a major problem in this person's life. You caused them a lot of havoc or turmoil or pain, or this is what you did. You cause this person a lot of pain or turmoil, or you cause them to suffer greatly, or something like that. Maybe you didn't realize that, but I'm getting you did, okay? Okay, they're coming. What's the, the, the important message is the Two of Swords? They could be giving you an ultimatum, El Capitan. They're fed up, they're tired of it. Somebody's like, look, either do this or I'm gone. That somebody cannot take anymore. They're reaching their, rit their wits in. Okay, what's the Two of Swords, the important message? Somebody wants you to decide right here, right now. What do you want to do? What is this? Okay, yeah, the five of wands, eight of pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants you to decide about what you, what you want to do with your job. Are you going to leave that job? Are you going to stay with that job? So I'm getting like somebody somebody works, like maybe somebody works at, works at a bar or somebody's always traveling for work or somebody works like, I'm getting whatever this person does for work. It's like a, it's a whole bunch of gossip and drama and like chaos where they work at their job. So somebody could be a, like a bartender. I feel like somebody works at a bar or somebody's a stripper or something like that. Whatever somebody does for work is a whole bunch of people in, the, in your business. This person gossips about you or this person shares your personal, your sex life with their friends or that they share, you know, what's going on in your personal, your personal relationships with their friends. Like if somebody tells their friends every fucking thing about what's going on with you guys, your sex life, the relationship, the problems you guys have, everything, the kids, you got, y'all can't pay y'all bills, whatever. Like this person shares everything with their friends or they, they share every fucking thing. Yeah, the king of swords. I feel like somebody talks too much. And I'm getting you're tired of it or you're fed up with this person, like running their mouth or talking or gossiping or just causing a whole bunch of drama and shit in your life for no reason, just for the, just for fuck's sake. Okay, what's the hangman? This is why uh, this is why they're coming towards you. 
So yeah, someone's coming towards you. They're going to give you an ultimatum. They have Kathy Tyne. They're tired of the drama. They're tired of uh, naysayers. They're tired of you listening to people. They're tired of people being in, being in like your business. They're, they're, they're just tired of people and shit. Somebody wants you to keep your mouth closed and stop gossiping. Yeah, we have the, the high priestess. Yeah, so somebody realized that you were talking about them. I'm getting word got back that you were talking about them and gossiping about them. Somebody's going to find out that you that, you're, that you that you don't really fuck with them like that or you don't really have their back. Yeah, you've been, yeah, somebody that, that you thought was your friend or, you, I don't know. What's the nine of wands? They're coming towards you. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you feeling very insecure and beat up because I'm getting your fine, you're discovering some, some, somebody that's a, somebody's a snake. Oh, I can't get the words out. I feel very excited. Yeah, the six of swords. Okay, yeah, you're, they're, they're moving on. They're, they can't take anymore. They're done here. Or this could be you. I mean, like somebody's coming towards you because they're leaving a very toxic, abusive, tumultuous relationship with, with somebody else. All they did was argue with this person. But I mean, like somebody had to first realize that, they, that this relationship was not going anywhere. All they do was argue and shit. They don't have any peace of mind. So I'm getting like, I'm getting you try to warn this person or you try to talk to them or you try to guide them in some way. They didn't listen to you. They listened to their friends. And now this person is discovering that you were right the whole time and they owe, they owe you a huge apology. Because it looks like you told them to move on or you told them to leave a situation they didn't leave and now they're caught up in shit. What's the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Sun card. Yeah, they're coming to give you a huge apology. I'm also getting two... Somebody is moving, relocating to the south, or somebody's asking, can they, can they relocate? Can they come stay with you? Or can you travel with them? Can you take this trip with me? Can you go to LA with me? Or yeah, I'm definitely getting the sunshine, okay, the Midwest or the South. Somebody's coming your way. They're moving in your neighborhood. They're moving on your block. They're moving in your building. Somebody's going to relocate where you live in your vicinity. That's why they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you because they just moved in, or they're moving, they're moving in this week or something like that. What's the hangman and the high priestess? They may need your help finding a place to live or finding finding suitable housing. That's why they're coming towards you. Maybe you have properties, you have homes, and you know, so they, they their friend needs somewhere to stay. What's the five of wands? The important message, the five of wands. They may be very nitpicky or very impatient. Yeah, the full car. Yeah, somebody wants you to hurry up and do it now. Yeah, so I'm getting like you're leaving the situation. They, they're coming towards you because they, they just left a situation. Their job is over or Somebody here is on strike or some shit like that. Yeah, the seven of wands. I feel like somebody's on strike and they're just going to leave their job. They're up and leaving and they're coming towards you. They're relocating. Somebody is moving here, just period. I don't feel like it's you, El Capitan. I feel like the person that's, they're relocating towards you. Okay, what's the, what's the hangman and the high priestess? Yeah, the devil. Yeah, somebody, somebody just realized that what they were in was very toxic. And it was draining their energy, the, the, the relationship, the job, whatever they were a part of, whatever they were associated with or affiliated with, it was, it was toxic. It was, I'm getting, it was detrimental to their health, to their livelihood, to the yeah, it's over. So somebody could be getting out of the industry or somebody's leaving a job. I'm getting, it's, it's, this is a pretty big deal for them. Somebody could have been like booted out though, fired. I'm also getting to like somebody's losing their job because they were like high at work or they were smoking at work. Somebody smelled the smoke on this person and told them to leave like indefinitely. So I'm getting like somebody is somebody lost somebody lost the res the respect of a very reputable client here as well. Okay, what's the what's the Knight of Cups in the Sun card? Yeah, the King of Swords. They want to have a they want to have a, a conversation. They want to somebody wants to be friends again. Is what I'm getting. Yeah, the, the, okay. So this person, I'm getting like somebody is a model or somebody is a speaker, okay, a beautician, but they're coming to apologize to you, maybe for disturbing your work or not paying you what you were worth or throwing you under the bus or just creating or just making your, your the situation a difficult one for you. So I, I'm kind of getting like somebody made your job really hard when they, when they didn't have to do that, but they were doing it because their friends told them to or their friends don't like you or... Yeah, their friends don't want their their friends don't want to see them with you. So their friends like give their friends misguide them on purpose. Yeah, we have the two of wands, but yeah, they're they're deciding to do the right thing. They respect you. I feel like this person loves you. It's almost like their friends gave them an ultimatum and they they're choosing you. Like, yeah, okay, bye. They're leaving the job or they're relocating. 
Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody's definitely moving. They're gonna, somebody's moving into your building or they're moving into your neighborhood. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting in the next nine days. I'm, you may be communicating with this. You may, you may start communicating with this person this week. I'm getting the next two days. You're gonna communicate with them, but you, you, I'm getting, you're gonna spend the next nine days helping this person looking for a house, looking for an apartment, looking for a room. You're gonna be helping them do this. They may be, they may stay with you for a couple days, okay, until they find their own place, until they. Until they Go to their next stop. I'm getting to like somebody. Somebody's coming into town for a couple of weeks and then they're leaving. They're going back home. They're going overseas. They could be going to a different country, Africa, because the sun card in the, the, the world. That's, that's my Africa card. Somebody's going to Africa or somebody's going to uh, Brazil. So I feel like somebody's gonna somebody's gonna stop in and they're going to maybe apologize to you, give you something very nice, maybe a gift, help you pay for something, just kind of you know take you out, treat you very well. I feel like somebody's coming into town. But they're not gonna, they're not, I'm getting it's not permanent. I mean, it could be though, it just depends on, I, I, I'm getting like somebody's coming into town, they're gonna come and visit you, and then you're gonna help them find their own place. I'm getting it could be in the same building or the same neighborhood where you live. But I am getting a platonic friend though, or yeah, the Five of Cups, they just lost somebody or they just broke up with someone. Yeah, they're at a loss here. Okay. They, they let something go though something that was very toxic could, of course it could have been a marriage or a friendship or I'm getting I'm getting it was several friends a group of friends they had to let go they know they have to let these people go they're very toxic but they are they're 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 relocating towards you somebody's gonna move into your neighborhood in like you know this month in the next couple days in four days or the ten of pentacles yeah a very toxic relationship or a very toxic tie with their family so this could be somebody who was very attached to their mother they were taking care of their mother mother paying all her bills paying her rent you know buying you know just financing her buying all her clothes basically being her husband or it's like yeah somebody has somebody is very attached to their mother or their mother is very codependent on them Somebody is putting a stop to that. Someone's like, no, I'm, I'm not giving you any more of my money. I'm not supporting you anymore. I want my own family. I want my own kids. Yes, because like somebody, somebody wants to support their own family. Okay, like somebody wants a wife or a husband. Like somebody does not want to support their mother or their father anymore. Like someone's like, no, I, I could be using this money to, to, for, towards my own husband or my own house. Yes, somebody wants their own house. So some, I'm mean like somebody here was staying with their mother or somebody was staying with several roommates, toxic ones. Or like somebody could have been standing like in a frat house or some shit like that. But yeah, they're 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 moving. They're they're gonna move into your neighborhood. This makes you very very happy, uh, Cappy. Yeah, you're gonna somebody's gonna find you're gonna help somebody find some place to stay, or they're helping you, and you're going to be very happy, very content, very comfortable. I'm also getting to you're happy that somebody got out, out of a toxic situation with somebody else. You're so happy for them. You're so glad that somebody's doing better. I'm getting to you want to see somebody doing very well. Okay, so I see I see you are helping somebody or assisting them. I'm also getting two belongings. You could be dropping somebody's belongings off before, before you leave the state, leave the country. Before you go back home, you're going to drop off somebody's belongings to them, something that belongs to this person. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna be. This this is gonna make you very happy. They're gonna they're gonna be very happy, El Capitan, that you did this for them or that you moved in or that you came to visit them. They're gonna be very happy. Okay. I'm getting whatever it is, whatever you're doing. It's very noble. Okay, whatever you're doing for this person this is a very noble gesture. I'm getting to you can even be putting somebody up. They need somewhere to go. You're putting them up or something like that. Okay, let's see. Give me an oracle card. Okay, okay, no, let's get some gypsy cards first. Gypsy cards for El Capitan. It's almost like you're helping someone because they helped you. Yeah, you're going on a journey. I feel like you're going back home. You could be going to Africa. I feel like somebody's going to a different country. Yeah, you're gonna start your life somewhere else. You're gonna start a new life, maybe with your family, or you're gonna start, you're gonna start your own business. Or you're just chasing you're chasing your dreams, El Capitan. I'm getting somebody wants to, you know be an actor, an actress, or somebody wants to start their own record label, maybe. I see you doing that, okay? I see it being very lucrative. But I'm getting, I'm getting your family was not on board with what you wanted to do. They, you did not have the support of your family or friends. They kept, they keep, they kept rejecting your ideas, but this person did not reject you. This, this person is going to support you, and they're going to see you off. They're going to make sure, yeah, we have misfortune, okay? 
He had prison. Okay. So I'm, I'm getting a situation where somebody treated you very poorly when you treated them very kind. Somebody is realizing that now that, that you were very kind to them, you were a helping hand, you were a voice of reason. Somebody wants to apologize before they, before they continue their life's journey. Somebody wants your forgiveness. Okay, let's see. I feel like somebody just can't go on until you forgive them because somebody is really sorry is what I'm getting here. That they regret what they did or what they said or what they put you through. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, we have conversation. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody wants to have a heart to heart. I'm getting, I see that happening. Okay, I'm getting like in the next six hours, this person is going to reach out to you. They're coming, they're moving into your neighborhood. They're coming towards you or they're coming to visit. All right, I'm getting they're not going to come empty handed at all. Okay, give me an oracle card, El Capitan. Yeah, we have restore. Definitely a reconciliation here. They're gonna, they want to restore the connection that you guys have, restore the friendship. They are sorry. They miss you. They didn't realize what they had or they didn't realize how much they hurt you. I'm getting to they did not realize that they were, they were in a toxic relationship, that they were being controlled. They just couldn't see it. All right, I'm getting they, they didn't trust they didn't trust you, but I'm getting now they do. I feel like now somebody sees you as like a guiding light or like somebody sees you as an, a friend or an accomplice. Someone's like, man, you're good with me, man, like for life, forever, okay? I feel like you're always good with this person. Like you're, you're good. Like this person's, they're going to they're gonna show up and show out, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there. I've got the time. Thanks for watching. All right, see you next time. Bye.